Hey y'all, we're going to be looking at Catherine Craig today. Um, her cult following has engaged in the same type of practice they did over her birthday. They did for Mother's Day. And this girl is just barely over 30 years old. And they call her Mama. Yeah, this whole Mama Papa craze is, is cult-like behavior. Totally unauthorized by scripture, but we're just going to look at this. I'm going to play this uh, and I'm going to leave the sound off until after they get past the um, emotional music. It says Apostle Catherine right here. Hope it's showing up. Apostle Catherine. This is what the music sounds like. Now look what it says here. Oh, we go back. Mother to the nations. They're calling her mother to the nations, y'all. Yikes. Here's the emotional music. So I don't know where this is filmed at. They took a field trip. Mother to the nations. This is a uh, over aggrandizement and this is enmeshment. Look what it says. I, I didn't uh, catch it soon enough. Let's go back and pause it. Look what it says here. Your spiritual children honor you for Mother's Day. Hi, Apostle Catherine. Happy Mother's Day to you. I love you so much. I honor you. And I'm so grateful that wisdom is known by her children and that I'm one of those wise children. I love you. Happy Mother's Day. Hello, Mama. I just wanted to say happy Mother's Day. And I love you so much. Hey, Mama. Happy Mother's Day. I pray that today you feel the love of... Hold up. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. This is what... I mean, you can look like a pretty ordinary attractive run-of-the-mill person and you are 100 percent biblically illiterate and totally deceived by a cult leader this is what they look like this is what cult followers look like you could have one in your workplace you could have one in your family all your spiritual children we honor you and we love you and we value you and we cherish you so much as our spiritual mother that god blessed us with i pray that today you feel that love in jesus name happy mother's day hi we love you so much uh we honor you with all of our hearts thank you for being our spiritual mama happy mother's day Happy Mother's Day. I want to honor you this day and tell you how much I love you. I'm so blessed to have you as my spiritual mother. I thank God all the time for giving me you as my spiritual mother. I really feel so spoiled by God. Um, thank you for loving me as your spiritual daughter. It really is an honor and a privilege to carry your spiritual DNA. I love you, Mama, and happy Mother's Day. I don't know if I'm going to get a copyright strike on this because the background music is running through the whole thing. But, um, yeah, to carry a false apostle's spiritual DNA. Mm. You have, you might be kin to Benny Kent, Benny Hinn, Benny Kent. You might be kin to Benny Hinn and Kenneth Copeland. If you're kin to, uh, Catherine Crick and Catherine Kuhlman, she got the Catherine Kuhlman DNA. Hi mama. Thank you so much for being you, for being ordinary. And it is because of that you have spoken to us with simple yet practical teachings that have totally changed our lives. And you have set the example of what it means to be a true Christian. And I want to say that we love you because you have loved us first. You put us first and you sacrificed so much. Just Again, this is the same type of verbiage about in First John chapter 4. We love because he, Christ, first loved us. Now, she doesn't love you, dude. She doesn't love any of you. False teachers do not love the people they deceived. You need to run. For the sake of all of us. And that is why we love you. Thank you. And I hope you have a wonderful Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day, Mama. Thank you for all you do. Thank you for being that bright light that shows me the way out of darkness. Thank you for everything. I honor you so much, and I love you so dearly. I hope this is the best Mother's Day ever, and thank you for being the greatest spiritual mother ever. Love she's not a mother, so she shouldn't have any best Mother's Day ever because she's not a mother. She's the offspring of biblically illiterate, apostate, uh, probably non-Christian followers, but yeah, she don't have any children. Is this about the prophetess in Revelation chapter 2 who had children? Maybe. Love you. 
Happy Mama's Day, Apostle. I want to thank you so much for showing us the right way to love Jesus and to do life in ministry. Happy Mother's Day, Mama. I thank God for you every day. You are the best thing that happened to me my entire life besides Jesus. And God bless you. And I honor you. I love you. Wow. Mama. Happy Mother's Day, Mom. You're the best spiritual mom on this earth. I would not have as much peace and joy in my life as I do today if it were not for your spiritual direction. Dude, you're a total simp. This is not stuff you say to a woman who you're probably older than looking, judging by your hairline. You're probably older than her and you're calling her mama or mom or whatever. I love you so much with the pure love of Jesus. Happy Mother's Day, Mama. Uh, thank you so much for being the best spiritual mother I could ask for. Um, I honor you. I thank you so much. I love you so much. And uh, it's an honor to serve alongside you and to serve you with all my heart. God bless you. Revival is now. Happy Mother's Day, Apostle. I just wanted to say thank you for being a great vessel of God and for letting your spiritual sons and daughters learn from you. And you've helped me grow in my life so much. So I honor you. And happy Mother's Day. Mother's Day, Apostle Catherine. We're so blessed to have you as our spiritual mother and we feel so proud as your spiritual daughters and so protected to have you as our leader. Thank you so much for all you do. We love you. Bye. Happy Mother's Day, Apostle Catherine. We love you so much. Thank you for all your hard work for Jesus every day. Thank you for being such a good shepherd and a leader for all of us. And we just pray that you have the best Mother's Day ever. Thanks, Apostle. Hi, Mama Apostle. Happy Mother's Day. You are the best spiritual mom I could ever ask for. And I thank you for saying yes to Jesus and walking in your calling in power and representing the kingdom of God accurately and imparting gifts to me and the body of Christ. I thank you, Mama. I love you. Have a blessed, amazing Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day, Mama Kay. I am honored to be your spiritual daughter and I am blessed to call you my apostle and I will follow you anywhere. Happy Mother's Day with great love and adoration. Happy Mother's Day, Apostle Catherine. We love you so much. We couldn't ask for a greater spiritual mom. We're so thankful. Enjoy your Mother's Day. Hi, Mama. I just want to honor you and thank you for opening my eyes to what the love of God truly looks like. You have been a tremendous blessing to my life, and I love you. So according to this lady, the love of God looks like, the love of God does not look like what it would have to look like for that to be true. Because it doesn't look like a false apostle coming and deceiving you. Mm. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day, Mama. Thank you so much for your sacrifice and the choices that you make each and every day to show up and be a leader that blesses us. There has been nobody that has poured into my life spiritually more than you, and I'm so blessed to serve under you. I hope you have an amazing day and love you so much. Hi, That's Apostle really Catherine. Sad. Happy Mother's Day. Thank you so much for all that you do for the kingdom of God so that our lives will be forever changed. I love you so much, Apostle. Happy Mother's Day, Mama. I'm so blessed by you. I love you deeply. I'm so thankful to have you as my spiritual mom, spiritual parent. I'm so proud of you, and so is Jesus. It's the highest honor to serve such a priceless, extravagant ministry, and I bless you so much. Have an amazing day. May it be just as special as you are. Hello, this is Wesley and Lisa from the Netherlands. We are planted in Five Fold Church. Thank you for your teachings and encouragements. They help us to step into our calling. We love you. I wish you a happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day, Mama. Thank you for everything that you do for me and for everyone else all around the world. Um, I love you so much. I hope that you enjoy today and I honor you and just enjoy today and just be full. This is another, this is a female Benny Hinn. She really truly does have the same spirit as Catherine Coleman. And it is a deceiving spirit. She's got followers, simps all over the world. This should be called simps all over the world. With all the love that we are just pouring out over you. Enjoy today, Mama. Happy Mother's Day to the best spiritual mother ever, ever. I love you so much. Your obedience has changed many lives, including mine. The fruits of this ministry are beyond words. They have changed and reached us all. And I bless you, I thank you, I honor you, and I love you. Thank you so much, and happy, happy Mother's Day. Thank you will never be big enough to express my gratitude for you and the surrender that you have had and just the sacrifice you've given, literally laying down your own life so people like me can experience the Lord and never be the same. You see me in the spirit, and you know the depths of my gratitude and the depths of my love and the honor that I have for you. It's an honor to walk behind you it's an honor to serve you it's an honor to glean from all the wisdom that the lord has poured and deposited into you i ain't going nowhere <laughs> it is my prayer that you have a jesus soaked day and i honor you today and every day happy, happy mother today to the most amazing spiritual mother apostle Catherine. we love you so much and we honor you thank you very much for your leader we will advance the kingdom of god with you thank you jesus hi apostle Catherine. thank you for your sacrifice your surrender and uh, thank you for allowing me to serve in your ministry these are the best years of my life uh, thank you for teaching us how to walk in the anointing you're a true general general of the faith i honor you as such god is moving us with supersonic speed so it's like what's going to happen in the next life <laughs> thank you thank you thank you thank you so much mama have a wonderful and happy mother's now this, Hi, dude, this dude here dude you old enough to be her grandfather and you call her mama that's a shame man that is a total shame dude you should be ashamed of yourself the next live. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much, Mama. Sheesh. Have a wonderful and happy Mama. Mother's Day. Hi, Apostle Catherine. I want to honor you as my spiritual mom. And thank you so much for leading the way. Is but that Apostle Catherine's 
daughter, because serious daughter, because watch her eyes. Hi, Apostle Catherine, I want to honor you as my spiritual mom. And thank she you so much for leading the way so all of us can find our callings and serve God in a she powerful way deliverance. and be in his will. Happy, Happy Mother's, Mother's Day, Day, Apostle. Apostle. Maybe something. <laughs> Catherine, I love you so, 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 so much. Thank you for leading the way, being an example to us. I need your example in Christ to show me what to do in my daily life. God has called me so. Wow, I can't take any more of this. Um, hold on. Well, come to think of it, I do think there's a way in which I guess they could be Catherine's children. If we look at Revelation chapter 2, verse 18, it says, And now to the angel of the church of Thyatira write the words of the Son of God who has eyes like a flame of fire and whose feet are like burnished bronze. It goes on to say, I know your works, your love and faith and service and patient endurance, and that your latter works exceed the first. So th this might not be her children because the Thyatiran church was an actual church. 5F church is not a legitimate church. It's not set up biblically. It doesn't have a biblical elder, doesn't have a qualified person. You know, not only is she not an apostle. She's not even allowed to be a pastor. Paul su said, I suffereth not a woman to teach or exercise authority over a man. So she's unqualified to be an elder or pastor, definitely not apostle. So it's not an actual church. So they may, they may be in bad, bad position, but I have this against you that you tolerate that woman Jezebel who calls herself a prophetess and is teaching and seducing my servants to practice sexual immorality and to eat food sacrificed to idols. Now, again, when it talks about food, oftentimes it may be talking about spiritual food or false doctrine. All right. When it talks about sexual immorality, that could be mixing the holy with the profane. All right. In addition to actual sexual immorality. But it says here, I gave her time to repent. And this is what it says. That woman who calls herself a prophetess. A spokesperson one who speaks on behalf of God. And that's what she claims to be. But she claims to be an apostle, which is greater than a prophetess. I gave her time to repent, but she refuses to repent of her sexual immorality. Behold, I will throw her onto a sickbed and those who commit adultery with her, I will throw into great tribulation. And this would be the people who are practicing her, her immoral practices, mixing the holy with the profane and calling people uh, apostles and prophets who, I don't even think are converted unless they repent of her works and I will strike. This is why people who follow false teachers need to and false prophets definitely need to take heed because you will share in their fate. I will strike her children dead and all the churches will know that I am he who searches mind and heart and I will give to each of you according to your works. But to the rest of you in Thyatira who do not hold to this teaching, who do who have not learned what some call the deep things of Satan, to you I say, I do not lay any other burden. I do not lay on you any other burden, only hold fast what you have until I come. And the one who conquers and who keeps my works until the end to him, I will give authority over the nations and he will rule them with a rod of iron as when earthen pots are broken in pieces, even as I myself have received authority from my father and I will give him the morning star. He who has an ear, let him hear what the spirit says to the churches. So, yeah, when we were going over this, I suddenly realized um, they could be the false or the offspring of a false Jezebelic prophetess who calls herself an apostle and seduces people who are either biblically illiterate Christians or unconverted people. Because let me remind you, the Bible does say, Jesus said, my sheep know my voice and the voice of a stranger and they will not follow. Catherine Crick is a false apostle, a false teacher and a deceiver of many of epic proportions. And I urge any of you who are following her to turn away we are commanded in Matthew chapter 23 to call no man father. Now, now you have someone almost equivocating Catherine Crick to uh, the Virgin Mary in Catholicism. This is idolizing. This is idolization. This is, uh, this is worship. This is bordering on worship and idolatry.
This is Brother Rob Wilson. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share if you care. Grace, peace, and love. In Jesus' name, pray for these deceived people and pray for me as I pray for you. Amen.